The road to hell is paved with good intentions. What is a real life example of this? The introduction of non native species as a means of solving an environmental problem. The introduction of kudzu for erosion control. It has become invasive and girdles and kills plant life above ground without establishing proper roots, therefore causing soil erosion. Haiti did not have cholera. A disastrous earthquake hit Haiti in 2010, after the earthquake humanitarian forces from the UN arrived to help, and the Nepalese contingent reintroduced cholera to Haiti. This epidemic has since infected approximately 850,000 people and killed over 10,000. Lobotomy. Surgery to fix the mentally unwell. It sounds so good no more reliance on medication, you're good from now on but it didn't work. The outcomes were awful and it was frequently done without any sort of consent. It all could have been shut down fairly quickly if people were honest about what was happening, but careers and money was at stake, so many unnecessarily suffered. No child left behind. Those parents who solve all their kids' issues and don't make them stress about consequences of their own actions. Their kids just turn into inept and entitled adults who still act 15 for decades and not only have a harder life for themselves but make life miserable for everyone around them too. The arm either asshole comment section. The d.a.r.e program. Helping someone by enabling them in their self-destructive behaviors. Sometimes you help someone by denying them what they say they want. The beginning of any political journey I suspect. Sheltering your kid from every possible problem. Keeping on trying to help someone so desperately that you lose sight of your own actions and end up hurting everyone around you by neglecting your own health and becoming overly defensive of that person, even insulting and attacking others for them. This can happen too fast when you fall in love with a bad person. A lot of old programs centered around weight and eating disorders just led to kids being more conscious about being judged about their weight despite the intentions of wanting to prevent bullying or healthy weight. It did not even matter if it was anti-anorexia or wanting to decrease obesity. Also in my school they showed us pro-ana sites with like a beware message and I also could not help thinking that this talk was the only reason I knew they existed. Currently the focus is more on eating healthy instead of weight still has some pitfalls, such as orthorexia. Adobe Flash There is a series on YouTube Great Moments in Unintended Consequences which has many examples. I recall hearing that the person behind the like function of Facebook legitimately just saw it as a nice way for people to show others what they like, or a way to positively react on things it turned out that it had has a huge negative impact on social cognition, such as teenagers, especially girls unfortunately, developing depression. The Opioid Crisis Initially it was highly restricted and doctors hated prescribing it because they knew how addictive it could be. Well here we are. Trying to rescue too many cats. Giving kids everything they ask for. Most people are giving examples of unintended consequences, but another perhaps the original. Meaning is that mere intentions are not enough, but must be followed through with actions. Hell is full of good meanings, but heaven is full of good works. Example a father who intends to spend more quality time with his children. But never finds or makes that time. My parents thought that if they brought us kids to church every week Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and all day Sunday, had us go to private religious schools, and made us volunteer for religious organizations, we'd stay out of trouble and be as zealous as they are. As soon as each of us could, we ran away and never looked back. One of my sisters won't attend a funeral if it's in a church. Neville Chamberlain's policy of appeasing dictatorship in the 1930s. Thomas Midgley a great scientist. He helped to get rid of the problem of petrol causing knocking in engines. By adding lead to gasoline. Then he turned his endeavors to reducing the amount of toxic and flammable gases used in air con and refrigeration systems, and invented CFCs. Student loans. The invention of plastic. We judge ourselves by our intentions and others by their actions. 
the foster family program. Taking children out of dangerous situations be it violence, drugs or sexual abuse. Way too many adults just in it for money or access to vulnerable kids. I feel like Dynamite is a pretty great example, he literally just made it for mining and was so horrified by people using it on other people he made the Nobel Peace Prize. Thalidomide Lawnmower and Helicopter Parenting when you give CPR and get sued for breaking a rib in the guy whose little you just saved. Purity culture and the I Kiss Dating Goodbye book movement. It was a response to hookup culture and the free love movement of the 60s and 70s, and all of its downsides and dangers. But it left people with no idea how to have healthy relationships, sexual dysfunction, and worse. Not to mention, a net increase in STIs and teen pregnancy, as they never learned how to protect themselves and mitigate risks. My marriage Pretty much everything my upper management is doing right now at work. I can't provide any details, but wow is it ever frustrating to see such a large company be this bad at fixing very basic things, despite those of us lower on the ladder thoroughly and consistently explaining why things are broken and how to fix them. Meaning well means nothing if you keep your ears closed. The guy that came up with the pesticide that later on got used in the concentration camps comes to mind. Edit I might be wrong but I'm too lazy to check not too lazy to browse Reddit at work though. M25 People giving up all their rights because they believe it will solve problems. Qualified immunity in every war, even the most righteous ones, there were members of the good side that were rapists, sadists, plain old vile. 